It's human nature to look for quick fixes in life, but does this apply to hearing loss? Today we're talking to audiologist Dr. Danny Genevico, and basically right now out on the market there's a lot of amplifiers. Is this a good way for, you know, to get over your hearing loss? I think the mistake that a lot of people make is they think there is a magic bullet that you can put something in the ear and your hearing loss is rehabilitated. Um, there will be hearing aids in drug stores and big box stores and mm -hmm. on the internet and magazines where people can order hearing aids and try to do a self uh, fit with a hearing aid. And I suspect any amplifier you put in someone's ear is going to give them some improvement in hearing if they turn the volume up, assuming their hearing is relatively normal. But the problem is there really is a very uh, significant issue in individuals that have hearing loss where the damage is done to different frequencies and the nerves are damaged in different ways. Mm. Because sometimes you can put an amplifier in a person's ear and if you're not careful or it's not uh, regulated, you can end up doing damage. Mm. You do not want to amplify everything. You want to amplify what people need. So the rehabilitation of a hearing loss is really a process. So today we're going to do start a, a three uh, segment uh, group of videos where initially we'll talk about what do you do initially to get uh, information about your hearing loss and then we'll talk about things like fitting a hearing aid and other things that relate to that. So uh, today we have uh, an audiologist and a patient here and uh, she is taking the history with this individual. Now the first thing that we do when a patient is referred by their family physician to us uh, is to find out a little bit about their medical history and about the difficulties they're having in dif different listening environments because that helps us a lot in making the decisions that we make as to whether or not this person uh, needs a hearing aid. So uh, after we've taken a history, then we do uh, an examination. So right now we're going to just kind of show you uh, what happens in that protocol. So the first thing that we do is to uh, examine the ear to be sure there's not any blockage or bleeding or anything unusual. Because, of course, if you find a medical problem, then that's something that needs to be dealt with a little bit differently. Uh, we normally test people in a sound room. Some people call it a soundproof booth. It's probably not totally soundproof, but pretty close. Uh, we put little probes in the ear, and the patient listens to uh, very soft little tones of different frequency. So after we've done that uh, and gotten a pretty good idea as to what the patient does and does not hear by frequency, then we actually test them with words. Uh, to find out at what levels they're able to understand words and gives us some sort of an, uh, a guideline as to what speech sounds are being uh, perceived and what speech sounds are not being perceived. And of course there are other diagnostic tests we do, but this is kind of the basic test that gets us started. Now once the examination has been completed, uh, then it's very important for the audiologist to sit down with the patient and explain in detail what they've found so they understand uh, why they're having difficulty understanding people. Uh, we also need to explain if there are some medical consequences to the test results that we've found and of course in that situation we would refer for medical follow-up. Now once all of this has been explained then we talk about the options they have for rehabilitation. In the event that this is something that cannot be uh, addressed medically then we consider the use of hearing aids. And so our uh, next segment will be part two. So once we have uh, found uh, the problem and found the possible remedies, uh, then they will come back and we will actually fit them with hearing aids on a test basis to see whether or not this will help them. Now this is generally not done in the first visit. So our next segment will be the actual fitting of a hearing aid and the things that are involved. And to learn more about hearing loss and possibly hearing aids, you can call Audiology Hearing Aid Associates at their Lynchburg location at 434-528-4245. They also have a Main Street location in Danville at 434-799-6288. And also more information online at digitalhearingforyou.com. And we'll be right back. 